Hey everyone, welcome back to Vanta EDC. Today I'm going to be going over what is in my current everyday carry rotation of stuff. So most of that is in front of you right now on camera. There's going to be some things that I can't show um, just because one of those things is my phone, which I'm recording on. But um, anyway, I'm going to kind of just go just do a brief overview of the things I'm doing. I've already done reviews on, I guess, one, two, three. Three of the three of the big things here, but a lot of these other things I'm either going to be doing reviews on in the future or they're not worth doing reviews on to begin with. So, um, just to get the kind of obvious out of the way, the f kind of the things that probably most people are interested in for me at least is the knives that I'm carrying. So, I just recently unboxed this about what was it a week? Oh, actually, yeah, like a week ago. The video came out more recently than that, but I unboxed it somewhat recently, and so I've been carrying this, doing my best to carry this basically every day in some capacity. I do work from home, so I'm not necessarily out and about all the time and carrying it, but all the same, I am carrying this more than I might any other knife. So this is the Protec Malibu textured, the DLC 20CV, as you can see right there. So this is a knife that you know, uh, after my initial impressions unboxing it, there was some issues with things like button stick, and it is already starting to work itself out, so I'm happy about that, but, you know, I'm gonna give it more time to get a, just to get more familiar overall with its overall performance and how much I like it or not. I, I am liking it, generally speaking, so, yeah. That's the main one. Kind of the other knife that I'm carrying most frequently, other than the Malibu, is this, the CJRB Pyrite. Great $50 budget knife, button, button, button lock knife. And I actually just found out earlier today that they are going to be selling a reverse Tanto version of the Pyrite, which I'm very excited about because I like, you know, reverse Tanto, Warncliffe, Sheep's Foot style blades most, just because of the utilitarian kind of the flatter edge. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I might, I'm probably going to get one of those and maybe do a blade swap with this, but we'll see when it, uh, once it comes out. So yeah, CJRB Pyrite, another great EDC knife for me. The thing that I probably use most of all that I haven't done a review on, I probably won't necessarily do a full review on, is my AirPods Pro. This is the Gen 2, so they have the feature that I most got these for was because of the ability to actually adjust volume with the stems of the AirPods. So that's a big one for me. So if you're an Apple user specifically and haven't up updated, that's a pretty worthwhile feature for me. I was able to use, um, yeah, able to use some money for that. So really glad I updated to that and was able to sell off my old AirPods Pro to make to recoup some of the cost there. So yeah, these are great overall. Uh, another thing that I use very frequently, honestly, probably more than my knives is this, the Streamlight MicroStream USB. It's a great knife. I've done a review on this. So if you want to take, get more details on it, this is great. As you can see, it's very small, smaller than the footprint of either of these knives. Very lightweight, has a good clip, decent, pretty good brightness for the size that uh, it is so it's uh it is my first edc flashlight but it's definitely one that i have no complaints about really more just uh i'd like to get one that has more features at some point but we'll see what that might be so yeah other things that kind of like the less glamorous things this is a wallet that i have no idea what the brand is i got this a few years back but i just use it because it's nice and slim the more I'm in the EDC world, the more I'm compelled to consider replacing this with a more feature-rich and still minimalist black wallet. So, yeah, uh, I've already been starting to do some research on that, so you'll probably see that change out at some point. But right now, it's just this generic, genuine leather black wallet, which, for the most part, does what I need it to do. So, yeah, um, I carry my keys on this Night Eyes s -Beaner. This is a number three. So this is something that is super useful to me. I don't really feel the need to replace this with a more fancy, kind of like trendy um, key holder just because this gets the job done for me. And it's easy to, especially since I don't often, I don't always wear pants with belt loops or shorts with belt loops. Um, I like that I can clip this onto the edge of a pocket or honestly my waistband if of my shorts if I'm walking around so I'm generally not too worried about it falling off even though if it's not fully secured on something so and I like the fact that you can lock in this because I'm constantly changing the car keys and such so yeah uh, another thing that I use every day that I'm not a tech reviewer so I'm not going to do a true review on this but I just this is like a gen 3 apple watch I think so it's pretty old 
I use it just to just generally have a watch. Um, I'm not a watch snob, so for those of you that are really into watches, I cannot um, match your knowledge and passion for that. I just like having something that I can accurately tell time, and I like the fact that it's because I'm a kind of what's the proper description? I am a <laughs> sort of inevitable Apple consumer at this point. I'm kind of stuck in the ecosystem. I have too many Apple products for my own good. You know, using an Apple Watch makes it really easy to control things on my phone and my AirPods and such. So, yeah, I use an Apple Watch with just a simple, this is like the factory black band. So, yeah. Um, another thing that's not, nothing fancy, not like EDC world specific, but this is the pen that I carry around in my pack. This is like a Sharpie S gel is what it's called. That's the 0.7 millimeter. So, you know, I, I have no... Right now, I'm not planning on prioritizing getting a fancy pen just because that's a lot of money for something that could very easily fall out of my bag. Or, and, you know, I'm not someone who's particularly picky about how good my writing looks or whatever. So this is a great <laughs> budget option, if you want to call it that. It's, you know, it's plastic. It's not metal at all. So, but it does have this comfy grip and the ink is supposedly pr very quick drying. So that's kind of why I got it. Got it in a pack of four, I think. So for what that's worth. I think you can get them at Target if you're interested, but yeah, um, going to go on to the tools, which are the only things that I haven't really addressed that is on screen right now. So, um, what, I'll touch the thing that I've had the longest. It's these, this SOG PowerPoint, which I'm definitely, I am planning on doing a review of because this is a very useful and compact multi-tool, which is kind of the two big reasons. And I, honestly, I like how, how fluid it is to open and close this thing. It's not by any means the most effective multi-tool you can ever get, but because I prioritize kind of compactness and lightweightness and fidgetiness, because I, you know, honestly, I don't have, I don't have a job that requires me to hard use tools all the time. Uh, I like this. So this actually doesn't go in my pockets. So, um, a lot of these things I'll kind of explain once I get to my bag, but a lot of these things end up staying in my bag um, rather than just on my person. So. Yeah, SOG PowerPoint, great multi-tool if you're looking for one. I am eventually going to swap this out for the black one and either sell this if you're interested, let me know. I'll sell it to you for definitely under retail, but if you're interested in this, I'll definitely sell this because as you can see, a vast majority of this is black. And as my channel name implies, I like black EDC gear. So yeah. Now the next thing I've had the next longest is this also not very EDC trendy by any means, but something that is pretty useful to have in my bag, my kit, is this Klein. It's called like the 8-in-1 Stubby Driver, I believe. So it has some good features. I, I might do a review on this. Uh, we'll see. But some, some of the features, just quickly, that I appreciate are that it has this extendable um, extendable head or whatever you want to call it. So this is this, this, this socket is stuck to the head here, so you can extend it several several increments, I guess once one, two, three. So three locking increments to, yep. And then here you can take it out fully. If you want to just put, if you want to put just a head straight in there, I believe you can do that. So that's nice. Um, so it gives you a little bit of versatility in terms of length of what you need to do. And then it does, it has storage. It's called the eight and one because it can store up to eight bits in here. So that's what I have going there. So, uh, I mean, and one unfortunate thing is you can't, you can't cut necessarily customize bits. They have to be bits that are short enough to fit within this compartment because there's no space here or here to, to fit longer bits. So you literally have to fit bits that are within this height, uh, constraint. So yeah, that's, that's a thing. So the nice thing is this does, um, I'm about to sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, it's nice that you can. You can spin the, the body of the driver while holding on to the end, but the problem is um, it the, 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 the end of the driver wants to go back into the body very easily. It's actually, yeah, it's also very, it's very hard to get out and very easy to push in. So it's kind of obnoxious. You feel like you kind of want it the reverse, easy to come out and hard to go in, but all the same, it does give you some versatility in that regard. So anyway, uh, I do plan on up, up upgrading to fancier, you know, more EDC niche drivers. I'm looking at the the Big Idea Design, different, some of their uh, EDC drivers. So 
eventually I'll get there. Not a high priority, but eventually I'll up, up, upgrade to those. But for now, this definitely does the job for me. So, these, so basically, I'll, I'll, I'm going to pull out my bag real quick. I've already done kind of an overview on the bag itself, but I still haven't done a full video overview of what I carry in it. But basically, this is on my person. This is in my bag. This is usually in my bag, on my person, on my person, bag, on my person, bag. So about half and half, you could say. So I've already done an overview of the bag itself, but basically it doesn't even fit fully on camera. I don't want to knock all the stuff, but basically this North Face Lumnical L, it's a six liter bag. I truly carry it with me every day. And so wallet goes in there, these tools go in there. I keep my knife and my light on me basically, and my, my, my watch and my keys, everything else. I like keeping it in the bag because then there's less, less stuff clanging around in my pockets. I don't want phones getting scratched up by by uh knives or keys etc etc i don't want knives getting scratched up by by the lights so basically at this point i just keep the the light in my left pocket and a knife in my right pocket watch on my wrist keys on my belt and then everything else is in the bag including my phone so the last thing that i haven't mentioned in my rotation is i carry a apple iphone 14 pro a black and black of course with a black case so shocker there so yeah, this is basically my current rotation of EDC gear. Oh wait, I didn't even, I just realized I didn't even mention the, the pliers here. So this is one of the newer tools, the newest tool specifically that I've added to my rotation. And this, if you don't know anything about these, I'm not someone who necessarily does a lot of construction work or anything like that, but these are surprisingly useful in a lot of situations that aren't even involving building or deconstructing things, but just, you know, tightening things, um, plucking things, whatever it might be, making sure to secure things down while I'm screwing down something else. So the nice, the really, honestly, the two big draws for this is the fact that you can adjust this and then it, it locks into place, basically. Oh, you can, there's a, there's a, you know, I don't, I don't know proper terms for pliers, but basically you can lock this down into a certain notch so that there's a certain diameter of the opening and that it's so compact like i mean it's barely longer than my malibu maybe like half inch three quarters of an inch longer than my malibu there so these 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 are nipex cobra five inch pliers if you're interested these are great i think this is the model right there 8701 125 so if you don't carry edc pliers especially if you like i would not probably carry these if i didn't have a bag on me but since i have a bag on me these are in the bag and these are never leaving the bag almost ever i'm certain of that so even though i have these uh, multi-tool these are much more effective pliers than the pliers that come on that power pint so that's the most recent tool i will do a review on that eventually but yeah um so yeah now that that's i think i've covered everything uh in my everyday rotation so it's kind of like you could let's just call this my spring 2023 EDC rotation, definitely planning on keeping to keeping on carrying this more frequently uh, just to get more familiar with it as quickly as possible. The Pyrite at this point is a, is a staple for me just because of how lightweight, how slim, how slicey, uh, um, just how comfortable it is to, to carry and to handle. I'm looking forward to upgrading, hopefully to, at the very least, to that reverse tanto shape, if not to a better blade steel maybe even get a, a fancier version in titanium if they actually please decide to release more of those because they only did limited editions of those. So yeah, if you have questions about any of these items that I haven't done reviews on or haven't been able to address in those reviews or in this video, feel free to ask questions or make suggestions about upgrading certain things. As I mentioned, you know, for me, the priorities aren't necessarily having the nicest tools or the nicest pens or the nicest watch, but for me, the focus definitely is on knives but again, I can still appreciate good tools and, and good gear in general. So this is my stuff. And yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Found this entertaining and informative, maybe, if you don't be more familiar with any of these items. But yeah, look forward to interacting with any of you who are interested. Take care.